So today I'm going to be playing a game called, let me find the title, because it's a long title, I even in my posts, I still keep looking at the uh, the place where my camera isn't, it's over here. Um, Even in the social, actually I need to stretch my folder out to properly see the full name of this game, it's called The Prophecy of Light and Darkness, The Power to Save the World. And, alright, so... Obviously, you'll see that I have a YouTube channel pulled up right now, and not the game itself, because I feel like before I actually get into playing this game, I want to kind of tell you the story of me finding this thing, because I feel like it helps give it some context. So, my friend Kevin, I think it was Kevin, it was one of the Thought Cops, oh, the chat disappeared, there we go, um... One of the Thought Cops podcast, I was on there a while ago, and I saw them posting these cartoons from this guy, Tamers12345, who all of his cartoons, they're basically, um, oh shit, our card's letters come with a rave, this is a good time for the raid, because we're, we're looking at some, at some goodness. Alright, so, I see him posting these cartoons, I think it was this one, the Notre Dame Cathedral has fallen. Now... All of his art, all of his cartoons, if you remember Sonic Underground, they're all starring characters from Sonic Underground. And this is his tribute to, the, to Notre Dame Cathedral. For a, just like, it's a quick one. A taste of uh, the, the brain that created the game we're about to play. <laughs> the fucking, the mouth on Knuckles. And Dr. Robotnik, he's uh, beside himself with sadness about the cathedral. And here we go, Sonic. Did he make this song? The, the asses on all the characters. One of his fucking trademarks over here. But yeah, it's a... Uh, this isn't even, isn't even like a, a fan game for Sonic. This is the guy who um, made this. Like all of his cartoons that he makes are about Sonic, but then this is a non-Sonic game that he's created. Um, another quick one that I'll look at for a second. Uh, this where, where's the basketball one? The basketball one is real good. Do you guys remember that cartoon, Sonic Underground? It's it's this weird cartoon. Once again, all the characters always got their asses out. Where's the basketball one, though? The basketball one is fucking funny. Oh, actually, this right here is the trailer. Let's look at this one. It's the trailer for the game. That made me be like, I gotta, I gotta play this. Satan's older sister. It's a clearly like an RPG maker game. But it's actually I don't know what's if this is an original song for the game, but this is a dope fucking song. But after watching all of this guy's cartoons and then seeing that he made a game, I'm like, I need to play this game. But yeah, the guy's name is Tamers12345. Anyway, let's get into this game of his. Okay, I'll close that window capture. The Prophecy of Light and Darkness. The Power to Save the World. Let me know if that's too loud. Because it's very loud on my end. There we go. I think the levels are okay. The prophecy. Let's do it.
Morning, Satan. You ready to pick taters? It's almost sunrise. The man. I'm not picking taters today. Bro, don't say that so loud. You don't want Uncle Chip to get mad at you. I'm serious, bro. And I don't care if Uncle Chip hears me. He needs to know that the way he's treating his... His own family is wrong. Satan, what are you planning? You know what I'm planning, the man. Don't play- I like how my character's name is literally the man. I know. I know what you're planning. You think I don't see that knife hidden between your butt cheeks? So, you're in or you out, bro. I'll give you some time to think. Make it quick. Because it's going to go down a tent. Oh, we're in the middle of uh, an escapade here. What's that coin just spent the last 30 minutes downloading YouTube vids of top sexy Resident Evil 2 slash Ada mods? Tell me how I'm spending my 30s officially. I mean, the sexy Claire and Ada mods, they're really, really well done. I love apples. My boyfriend Bumblebee owns an apple tree, so I get fresh ones every day. I have to sneak them up into our bedroom to eat them, though. Uncle Chip gets angry when we food without his permission, even if it was given to us. Can I move this out of the way? I wonder what this thing looks like burning. Uncle Chip- Uncle Chip's a fucking asshole. Uncle Chip never lets us turn on because it's a waste of precious firewood. So why don't you have a fireplace? One time he accused us of trying to light it on fire to burn the house down to kill him. On that day, I realized Uncle Chip was weak. He was afraid. Afraid of we could do. Afraid of use. Afraid of me. You see, you know what? I think, like, without having this. Without looking at. Oh, no! I didn't talk to the other person. Ah, crap. I didn't mean to touch that yet. The man, Stephanie. Thank you for always being by my side. Of course, bro. We're triplets. It's pretty much our job to look after each other. Yeah. Damn. Oh, can I go back up now? Or is that... Damn. Yeah, so there's no looking at that again. But anyway, what I was about to say before I rudely interrupted myself. Um... I... I feel like what's awesome about that guy's cartoons, it's kind of like the current generation in a way of C. Boyardee's Dilbert or Bart the General, like that type of like over the top ridiculous animation that's. It would only make sense on the internet. Someday I would like to read these books. Uncle Chip forbids us from even opening them. He says, the less you know about the outside world, the better. But that's just so wrong. Just how is it fair that he deserves to know what's out there while we spend our entire lives cooped up in here, away from the sun? Oh, the other shelf has the same dialogue. What a blazing sky. Look at all the taters that we harvested over the spring. There must be enough to feed a good 5,000 mouths. And yet... Uncle Chip still isn't satisfied. He'll never be satisfied. Well, well, I guess it's Uncle Chip. If it isn't my three little bitches. I see you aren't carrying any taters. And it's just about sunrise. That means you're all about ten minutes late from when you were supposed to be harvesting. Do you little boys and girls need a spanking as punishment? You shut the fuck up, old man. Yeah, you're not going to be treating us as your cute little bitches any longer. <laughs> you heard them, Uncle Chip. You've had this coming to you for a long time, for a long while now, and you know it. It's not wise for the three of you to turn against me. I've got a gun. Yeah, a gun that we threw away last weekend. You little shits. Face it, Uncle Chip. You lose. There's nothing you can do against the three. How about we test that? Oh, we're gonna have a boss battle? It's punishment time. He's attacking. Yes! Wait, what? Well, 
Why can't I see the menu? I gave you a chance, and you paid the price. Satan. Satan. You have to get up. Bro, get up. We have to stop Uncle Chip. We didn't survive this long for nothing. Please, God, not this. Please not like this. Let our bro, old man. Yeah, what do you plan on doing with him? Stephanie, the man. Cough, help me. I told you time and time again not to defy me. And now that you have... It's time to say goodbye to your bro. You'll never get away with this. Yeah, once our mom, Ellen, hears about this, you'll be in big trouble. Ha! Your mother won't hear a damn thing. That is, if you value your own lives. Shh! Satan. The man, Stephanie. Help me, Sivs. I don't want to die. Shut up. Gah! No! Cough. Sayonara, fat boy. <laughs> Uh, that was fun. I think I deserve to run to the store and buy myself a beer. <coughs> or rather, your Uncle Chip is too tired. How about you all make like nice little bitches and run to the store for me? You expect us to listen to you even after you threw our only bro down a waterfall. The man, we need to go down there and look for him. Maybe Satan is still alive. Uh, Garfield Pipemaster. This is the prophecy, the legendary prophecy of light and darkness, the power to save the world. I sniff, refuse to believe he's dead. Stephanie, come on, sis. Let's go inside. I'll heat you up some canned beef stew. But uh, Satan is gone, sis. No one could survive a fall like that. We just need to move on with our lives. I don't know. It's not really addressed if they're elves or what. They are just... This is their uncle, Chip, and he... He makes them harvest taters. With no knowledge of the outside world. And remember, when your mom gets home, you ain't saying shit. She's just gonna be like, oh, well, one of the kids is dead and not here. Oh, no. It was on that day that I ran into him. My best friend. My lifelong companion, the holder of my heart. My lover, Bumblebee. Satan. Satan, my love, is that you? B Bumblebee? I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been? Blushes. I have been great. I have been dreaming of you every day for the past couple weeks. Dreaming of me or my bo- <laughs> But both. What are you doing so far away from home? I thought your Uncle Chip forbids you from leaving your farm. Yes, he does, but something happened. Something I do not wish to talk about. You can talk about anything with me, Satan. I love you. Oh, Bumblebee. I made Uncle Chip mad, and now I don't believe I will ever be allowed back home. I see. Then that's a good thing. Now you can come live with me. That's always been your dream, right? Blushes. Oh, Bumblebee, do you really mean it? Really and truly? I do. Waking up to your face every morning, just thinking about it, it would be a dream come true. What are you looking at? Bumblebee, what is this? This big green thing, what is it called? As you know, I rarely ever go to the outside. That Satan is called a tree. <laughs> Wait, how are you harvesting? Like, where are these taters that they've been harvesting if they're in a location where he's never seen a tree before? What do trees do, Bumblebee? What do they provide the world? They do lots of things. They provide oxygen so that we can breath, fruit that we can eat, and shade to shield ourselves from the sun. 
What's the sun? It's what lights- You've seen the sun before! <laughs> so, like you? Hmm? After all, you light up my world. Damn, Satan, you sure do have a way with words. Now I remember why I made you my boyfriend, apart from your big ass. <laughs> What's wrong? You still seem down about something. You should be happy now that you don't have to live with your Uncle Chip anymore. You're free. Yes, I am happy about that. But my sibs. The man and Stephanie? Yes, they're still back there, within my evil uncle's clutches. I want to save them so sad. So, so bad, but I'm free now. Would it be foolish to go walking right back up to my house? No. The dungeon I was locked away in for so long. Don't worry. I will be with you this time, and I promise to never leave your side. Oh, Bumblebee, do you truly? I do. I gotta look after my boy. Blushes. How come? Now come. I think it's time we go free your siblings. We should head into town first to get some supplies. Your house is at the top of the mountain, so it'll take some time to get there, and no doubt your uncle will put up quite the fight. Yes. Alright, so let's... Wait, did he not, like, join my party? What skills are there? Heal and spark. My legs are tired, send my whole body aches from the fall. I wish I could sit down and rest, but I can't. Not until that man is dead. The streams that flow over these mountains are filled with magical healing waters. No one here knows how the, how the water has incredible healing abilities. It just does. Many people come here to make medicine out of it, too. Incredible. No wonder I'm alive, then. I sure was lucky. I doubt luck had anything to do with it. Fate itself probably didn't want you to die. You're the only one who can free your siblings from your evil uncle after all. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Bumblebee. I'll be believing... I'll keep believing that fate is on my side. Alright, let's get to town. Get some supplies. So I guess Bumblebee can't fight. Because he's not in the party thing. We should go check that inn across the street. Sorry, the casino is closed right now. My granddaughter said she saw someone who looked like Bumblebee entered the forest. So now we're trying to find him to see if we can get an autograph. I guess he's famous? What, you, you're the world famous Bumblebee, aren't you? The richest man in the entire kingdom. Why, yes, that's me. Are you a fan? You're- Alright, so... Bumblebee is good enough to talk to this girl, but like that- the, They're waiting for an autograph, and he's just like, yo. <laughs> hey kid, back off, he's mine. Why is this guy got like a little boy school hat from like the fifties or the twenty? Oh, like not yeah, how do, yeah, like the twenties. When did they wear hats like that with their fucking stack of books with the strap? The world famous bumblebee is in town. Everyone's gathering. Ha ha ha! I'm quite famous everywhere. Yes, that's why I tried to stay on the down low. Hey, you must be new in town. I don't remember seeing your face. Oh, where's the end, though? Oh, it's a... It, uh, half a car driving! This really is a magical place! I heard bumblebees... <laughs> the half cars, man! <laughs> Yo! I heard bumblebees got a really big butt. <laughs> What, Satan, are you gay? You <laughs> 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 blue boy, have you seen Bumblebee around? <laughs> 
Wow, rude. Ah, oh. Arpia. This is. The, let me get, pull out the full name again. The Prophecy of Light and Darkness: The Power to Save the World. Oh. Let's talk to these people. I right, Bumblebee was walking this way. I really hope it's true. Gosh, I hope it's so. I hope I run into the world famous Bumblebee. Why is Bumblebee choosing to show himself to some of these people and not to others? Wait. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? What's going on? Did I just get hit by a car and die? Of course. I'm st I'll never... Did I just lose the game? Uh, how did I walk through... What the fuck? Oh, no, it's... I gotta do it all over again, too. Oh, no. Alright, I ain't talking to none of you motherfuckers. Alright, I... Alright. Let's speed through this. Now I know that the half-cars can kill it. What happens if I just leave without talking to Uncle? Uncle. Alright, yay. Yeah. Uh, three of hearts. Thank you for the uh, the donation. Um, of my most recent videos, my favorite to work on. Uh, let me think for a second of what there was. There was the uh, the circumcision one. Um, it might that might be the favorite one, just because I cracked up so much while I was collecting all the screenshots and shit like that. Um, that was a good one. Uh, what I enjoyed about the body one and, uh, the cursed images one, it's that I can kind of like watch these things unfold as, as they were going on. I don't know. The cursed images one might have been one of my favorite to actually make too. Just because, like, you know, you go through, well, oh, a lot of different things. So, it like, gave me excuse to, like, just, like, look at a lot of, uh... Oh, look at all these cars now! They've been... Em they're emboldened! They know that they killed me. Wait, what? What? I got hit by nothing! All right. Is there a, like what what am I doing wrong here? Cuz he says let's go to that inn that's over there. Is there a way I can save before I get to that point? That's kind of wild that it's just like the cars are taking me the fuck out right now. Yeah, it could be an invisible wall that kills you. Uh, Demix, I found this treasure of the game because, um... I think it was Kevin from the Thought Cops podcast. I saw him sharing cartoons from the guy who makes this. It's a guy called Tamers12345, who makes these weird Sonic Underground fan cartoons... That, like, they're very comparable to, I think, like, uh, like, Sea Boy or these Dilbert cartoons, or Bart the General. Like, it's very much, like, ridiculous. Alright, yeah, in across the street. So I think I just got killed by an invisible car, and that's what happened. Alright, oh, I can save the game. Let's do that. 
No problem, that's- I just got killed by an invisible car. I should consider doing a video on the senator who got banned from EVE Online for corruption for being an in-game elective representative. That sounds vaguely familiar to me. Hello there. Would you like a hot dog? Only $2.99 each. Bumblebee, can I get one? With my money? Get whatever you want, bitch. Give me all you got. Wow, that'll be 3000 I bought all the hot dogs. $3,986. Of course we're sure. When my boy wants food, he's going to get his food. Now start cooking. Right away. But I must tell you, it will take me some time to make that many. That's fine. How long would it be? Maybe a week or so? How about two days and I don't pop a cap in your ass? Uh, Alright, I'll get it to work. Hee <laughs> hee. The flex. The park. Look, a slide. It looks so fun. This is my first time ever seeing a slide in person. Wait, but alright, so he... He doesn't know what a tree is, but he knows what a slide is. Oh, we're gonna have a date in the park. Oh, I think this is the inn I was supposed to get to. Wish I could go to the casino tonight. Apparently, there's a really going to be a high class party with a really sexy stripper. What do you mean all the rooms are booked? I'm sorry, but with the famous Bumblebee coming to town, just about everyone from across the country are booking here. Might I recommend the inn down the street? I'll kick your fucking ass. Hello, and welcome to our luxurious five star. Don't worry, Satan. I already made a reservation. We're in room 5. Last door to the left. Yeah, it's clear that like all the characters just are like... There's just like default faces that are swapped. I don't think the people who... Like, I don't think the dude who made this game like painstakingly drew all of these. Hey, are you guys trying to look for an inn that isn't completely booked, too? Did you see that... <laughs> Just, like, talking to random people in the town. Did you see that new stripper working at the casino starting today? Man, she's spicy. Sure is, dear. Damn those tits. <laughs> Old lady. Oh, this guy talked about it. CCP's post reads something along the lines that they're apologizing for being... Two non-transparent, working on inconclusive information, random PR talk. It's locked. Door is locked. For some reason, he looks to his left and right to make sure nobody is watching the two of you. After making sure no one is in sight, he positions his eye in front of the peephole. Suddenly, a green light emits from the people and begins scanning his eye. What is this? Scan complete. Sir Bartleby identified. Door status unlocked. Now think about Bartleby. Bartleby is a character from uh, Sonic Underground. That's heavily featured with a huge ass in uh, this guy's ca ca cartoons. Bumblebee, what's going on? I made some arrangements to the room. Let's go inside. Ah, Satan, Bumblebee. It's about time you bitches showed up. I was starting to think you wouldn't make it at all. Tough guy, what are you doing here? Well, I did tell you there would be someone here to greet us, Satan. What's with that face? Oh, come on, Bumblebee. Don't tell me you didn't tell, didn't fill him in on anything that's going on. Well, it's a bit of a mouthful, so what do you say you do the honors of tell him what's happening, tough guy? Sigh. I guess you leave me with no other choice. Satan, welcome to the Freedom Fighters. The Freedom Fighters? That's right. Tough Guy and I are Freedom Fighters. Warriors who are currently fighting against the evil dictator, Robot Man. Freedom Fighters? Robot Man, you're losing me here. It's alright if you're a little confused now. Everything will become clear in time. 
All you need to know right now is, the entire world is under a horrible dictatorship ruled by the evil robot man. <laughs> Bumblebee and I are freedom fighters, tasked with only one mission. To kill this robot man so that mankind be can be free of its shackles that bind us. <laughs> of course, you haven't noticed because you've been held captive by someone who isn't robot man for your entire life. Yeah, Uncle Chip. I sent Bumblebee to your house this morning so he could recruit you into our cause. Truthfully, I've been trying to get him into recruiting you for years, but only now has he finally agreed to it. If you guys were freedom fighters all this time, then why only now recruit me? I could have helped you all this time. Because this is dangerous. Bumblebee didn't want to risk you getting hurt. He loves you, Satan. I see, Bumblebee. Thank you for thinking of me. Don't mention it, babe. Oh yeah, and Bumblebee, I got a video call from Mindy. What's up, Anime Lover 1212? Did you now? I'm surprised she's still alive. What's her location? Wait, Mindy. Yeah, this, this is 100% the leaks of the Sonic movie. We can even see, like, Bartleby's in this, so... Or reference in this, so... Let's see what happens. Wait, Mindy. The same Mindy that's my bro's girlfriend. Don't tell me she's in the Freedom Fighters, too. She is. She's more than just a nice pair of big boobies. She's one of the best Freedom Fighters in the crew. In Out Crew. She's currently on a mission right now. I would have never guessed. Enough with the idle chatter, tough guy. What did Mindy say in her video call? Here, let me bring up the video call on the computer so I can show you. Check this bitch out. I got this video call a few hours ago. That's the oh, that's the sound of a video getting pulled up. Tough guy. Tough. Tough guy, can you hear me? I repeat, can you hear me? I hope you're picking up this transmitian because wow, trans wow, transmitian. Clearly, cuz if you're holy shit, I've got some news. I'm currently undercover at the casino. There are rumors that Robot Man himself is going to be there tonight at around midnight. Apparently only high class citizens are going to be allowed inside. And with Bumblebee being the rich bitch that he is, he's top of the VIP list. Even better, since I'm undercover as a stripper- OH SHE'S THE NEW STRIPPER IN TOWN! I've been scheduled to give him a lap dance. Tough guy, you need to tell Bumblebee. And he needs to be here tonight. This could be our one and only chance to take down the robot man. Damn, how convenient is that? You know, like, she's making waves as the hot new stripper in town. And the dictator of the fucking world makes a reservation for a lap dance. <laughs> Jeez, imagine, you're, li you're the dictator of the whole world. And you can't even get butt, you're just like a lap dance. It's like, it kind of uh, makes you want to be less aspirational in life. And Robot Man is going to be there. This could be very well. This could very well be the night, boys. This game is called. Let me pull that back up again. The Prophecy of Light and Darkness: The Power to Save the World. So, Satan, what do you say? Have you decided yet? Will you become a freedom fighter and help us take down the evil Robot Man? Naturally, we won't force you, but I will. Wow, that was fast. That's my boy. I know what it's like to live as the slave of another. More than anyone, I know. That's why. I can't just sit by and let the three of you do all this by yourselves. I would like to help in any way I can. Just like how I dreamed that somebody would come and save me from my Uncle Chip. You can already tell that you'll make a great feed of fire, Satan. One of the best. You haven't seen his combat skills, you don't know that. Or right. actually, the only fight I've been in so far, I got my ass beat. Alright boys, time to rest up. We'll be heading to the casino tonight. I'll inform you two of your roles later. Gotcha. Yes, Bumblebee. Hmm. That baseline though, this is some funky sneaking around shit. 
This is like, they, they must have got like Victor Wooten to do this soundtrack. How are you doing, Satan? Are you okay? How is your back? Oh, because I fell down a waterfall. I'm doing okay, Bumblebee. I took a bit of a nap now, and I'm fully rested. Glad to hear that. You know, I was a bit worried when I saw you fall from that waterfall. I don't know what I would have done had you not survived. But I did survive. And that's all that matters, so... Sniff, you don't have to think such thoughts. Sniff. Oh, bitch, don't cry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna start... Because of this game, I'm gonna start calling everyone bitch. Like a sassy gay man. I'm sorry, it's... It just makes me so bad to know that I scared you. I'm a horrible boyfriend. Nonsense. Here, come give daddy a hug. <laughs> blushes. You're the, what does it look like when a blue-skinned person blushes? Thank you, Bumblebee. I'm sorry. For getting so over-emotional again. Yeah, seriously, he got thrown down a waterfall. And he's apologized. That's like, I guess because he like... It's, that's Uncle Chip's abuse. Coming out. It's okay. I love that side of you. Wink. Damn, Anime Lover 1212. You, you referenced the ter Scary Terry from Rick and Morty. And that just made me really want to play that shitty old Nightmare in Elm Street PC game. Oh, these my, like, it's... Oh, no, they're not. Bam, 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 bam. So what do you think of our hideout seat? A hotel room, yeah. You're not that hidden in a hotel room, dude. It's, what's wonderful. The room is so much more spacious than it appears in the hotel hallway. Yeah, we made some modifications to sweet our cause. That means... A giant hot tub. Oh, the Nightmare Fetty shirt. I forgot about that. Damn, I should make a Nightmare Fetty emote. That means a giant hot tub. And a fridge. Constantly filled with chili dogs. Chili dogs. Oh, Sonic reference. But don't you guys ever worry about getting caught? Being in a hotel room? What if somebody checks in? That ain't gonna happen. We hackers into the inn's computer. The inn has a, a fucking database. We remove. Wait, <laughs> wait a second. All right, so, so this inn in this town has five rooms, and they're all like lined up in the back of the building. One door, two door, three door, four door, five door. But because they removed the room for the database, they don't know what it exists anymore. And just in case, we always always do have a Do Not Disturb sign up, too. I see. You guys really thought of everything. Well, bearing a freedom fighter, you kind of have to. It's rough being a freedom fighter. Spending your entire life hiding from your true self. Sometimes on the run. Sometimes fighting to the death. Um... Garfield Pipemaster... I, um, so the creator of this game, their whole channel is nothing but Sonic Underground fan cartoons. I'm, I'm assuming this game was supposed to be a Sonic game, but then they realized they just have the, these sprites to work with in RPG Maker. I can't tell you how many, how many lives I've took, how many men I've killed. Or maybe they just didn't want to get sued by Sega, but it's for a good cause, at least. I try and tell myself that. I believe it is. Thank you, Satan. I'm glad to have you on our team. I think all this fighting has hardened the rest of us. It's refreshing having someone like you here. I'm glad to be here, tough guy. Alright, let's... Mission time. Boom, bing. Hey, what's up, in clerk? Just, uh, you know, coming out from my not hotel room. Ah, oh, it's raining. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna save, just in case someone tries to hit me with a car again. Oh, this person won't talk? Think you're too good? Oh, none of these people talk. Oh, these are all the people here looking for Bumblebee. Oh, the car stopped at least. 
there's just there's just so many p people came to see Bumblebee at there. Is just traffic everywhere now. Hell yeah, thank you, Z man. Great content, keep it up. We'll do. I got some bangers coming this month that I'm like one that actually I've been putting off. Actually, two that I've been putting off a long time. And uh, actually, one of them it's um. Oh, what's what's this traffic jam here? One of them, like, I got a new sponsor, and I feel like a video that I had, like, tucked away, like, that I haven't finished, is perfect for them. Like, it, it's perfect, like... Wait, it, it's a perfect segue to, like, what their thing is. So, I think that's, like, it's time to do that particular video. You on the list? Sir Bumblebee. Hmm. It appears you. And who are the two with you? These are just, these are just my bitches. They come with me anywhere I go. Pay them. <laughs> well, I mean, this guy works at a casino. Surely, that's like uh, he's heard that explanation before. I can start telling the people who are these. They're just my bitches. They come with me everywhere. Don't worry about it. Hell yeah, I paid ten dollars for this. Ten dollars very well spent, I think. That slut could be anywhere. Keep your eyes peeled. Remember, we're looking for the girl with the biggest boob. <laughs> C come on, you see that line of dialogue and tell me this game wasn't worth ten dollars? I'm, I've always been a patron of the arts. See now, these people, they ain't people. They're just, they're essentially person like me's. We're looking for the girl with the biggest boobies. All right. I think that's her. Bumblebee? Tough guy? Is that you? Oh, it looks like Satan is with you as well. Does that mean he joined the Freedom Fighters? Yup, I did. This is officially my first mission. I vowed to help you guys take down Robot Man today. Speaking of Robot Man, Mindy, has he arrived yet? Not yet. It's odd. He was supposed to have been here 10 minutes ago for his lap dance, but he never showed up. Oh, no. Breaking your lap dance appointment, man. Don't you value people's time? I thought I heard something. Oh, this game is certainly not on Steam. It is, uh, it's on itch.io, the prophecy of light and darkness, the power to save the world. Everybody get down. Wait, what? You bitches okay? I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Hello there, Freedom Fighters. I would play this game over Anthem any day. Damn it, Robot Man. Don't tell me this was all a setup. You know, that Robot Man, he reminds me of somebody, but I can't quite put my finger on it. What the hell do you think it is? Of course it was a setup. Look at all the Robot Boys he brought. We're dead. Robot boys? They're, they're the soldiers of this army. It is said that a single robot boy can level a skyscraper. You have no idea how long I have waited for the day that I could finally make you all my little bitches. I would have never expected that the almighty freedom fighters were actually just a bunch of cute little kids. Don't you dare call me a kid, you fat old man. Tough guy, calm down. Fuck you, Satan. This man killed my great-grandfather. I want to kick his ass just as much he wants to kick mine. Come at me, bitch. Oh, shit. Battle time. No! He just killed him outright! Holy shit. Oh, no. Now for you, the two lovers. Bumblebee, it was nice knowing you. All my life, I've been a slave, deprived of freedom and love. But you gave me both in a single day. Did I know there was a game called Light and Darkness, The Prophecy, from 1998? Yeah, it came up when I was trying to remember what this game was called. Um, and I can't thank you enough for that. So I'm glad that if I'm going to die, I'm glad it's with you, because I love you. Satan. No, we're going to live. There are so many things I still want to do with you, like go on dates and shit. 
Oh, Bartleby. Do you truly mean it? Wait, is it Bumblebee or Bartleby? Alright, so this is clearly supposed to be Sonic and Bartleby. Oh, now I get the fuck- Oh my god, now I get the Mohawk. He's supposed to be Sonic. One blow, that's impossible. You make me laugh. Get him, boys. Sonic, get- Get back. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> I like how they just started calling each other, like, by the names they're supposed to be now. My boys, my precious robot boys. What the hell did you do? Here, did you obtain such power? That's for me to know and for you to find out, fat man. Satan. Time to haul ass. Pick up Mindy and Tough Guy on the way. Yes, Bumblebee. Super Android. Yeah, I've, I've been more active on Twitch than I used to be lately. Bing, 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 bing. Careful where you're running. There's robot boys all over. What, now I'm Satan again? Yeah, I don't wanna... Or do I wanna grind? Let me... Ah, uh, Satan, I told you... Oh no, that just kills me. Oh god. I thought I was gonna have a fight. You know, have a chance to level up. Oh sh... Oh no. Oh no. Alright, cool. We're not that far back. Back to the funky music. I'm reminded like th like this groove like it reminds me of that like the GIF. If you remember that wrestler Akeem? And then there's like uh where there's like one man gang where he like he he started wrestling in like uh a daishiki became Akeem. And there's this one GIF that goes around all the fucking time when he's doing his fucking dance, and there's a dude in the crowd that's like along with it. That's what the song makes me think of. Like that guy going like that. Yeah, I mean, they're. The song in the background, that, that bass means the bounce, 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 bounce. If you guys can, I put the music up a little bit, so I don't know if you guys can hear it now. If you guys aren't hearing that music, you're missing out. Yeah, I just got coffee right now. All right, let me let me save this in case we touch the robot boys. Can you hear the music now? Oh, oh god. I touched- Alright, so they aut automatically engage you. Gotta get back to that inn. This right here is strategy. Oh, it is actually a little tricky. Oh, unless I can get behind there. Yeah, I can't. Wait, so how? Oh, I see. Oh, damn, this is hard. That was a nice little, uh, nice little trick there. Oh, almost missed that robot boy. That guy just like comes closer. So, what kind of weird configurations happening here, huh? Oh, 
Oh, we're, we're good. Oh my god, you guys. What are we going to do? Super Andrew, I found this game from, uh... There's this animator, Tamers12345, who makes Sonic Underground fan cartoons, and this is his game. That it's very clearly supposed to be uh, Sonic Underground characters, but not called Sonic and whatnot, except occasionally when they do call each other by their Sonic the Hedgehog names. It's alright, Satan. We're in the hideout. So nobody will ever find us. We're safe. Yeah, for now. Robot Man knows we're in town now. He's not going to stop looking for us until we're good as dead. And even if he doesn't find us and shoot us down, what's the point of even continuing the fight against him? We'll have to live the rest of our lives on the run. Uh, it's hard to tell, like, on what layer of irony this guy is on. I, I would say he's probably doing these ironically. Because a lot of the times, like, his cartoons are, like, funny in a way where I feel like they're funny on purpose. We'll never be able to walk around freely outside or run to the store. From here on out, we'll be painted as criminals to the citizens of this city. Damn it. Yeah. When I was so sure we would finally kill him tonight. Just what went wrong? How did he know we were going to be there? You. What? Somebody must have ticked that fat man off. It was you, wasn't it? Traitor. No, no. I would never. Every character has a fat ass in this, pretty much. Oh! Tough guy. Calm down, you're scaring me. What the fuck did you say, Satan? I'm scaring you? Mindy should be the one scaring you. She's the traitor. You've lost your mind, you dumb bitch. Although, you Satan just joined us today. What if he's the traitor? I suggest you take back those words. If you know what was good for you. Yeah, Sonic as in uh, the Sonic. And ultimately, this is probably a better experience than the actual movie's gonna turn out to be. Even with them changing the, uh... The look of him. Is that so? Tell me, red boy. What are you more scared of now, robot man? Or me? Gulp, I... That's what I thought, bitch. Haha, <laughs> wild tough guy, he sure made you his bitch. I just want to protect everyone. Do you think I enjoy suspecting one of her own as a traitor? I bet the red... Of course the red guy is Knuckles. I bet- I bet Knuckles is the traitor. Of course not. Suspecting her own is fine. Sometimes it's necessary. But right now... You seem like you're about to shit your fucking pants. You are in no position to be pointing fingers. You're right. I'm sorry. When you see the room layout, it's because they made it extra special. It's their hideout. The casino table in the hotel room? In room? I think tough guys should be demoted as leader. What? What the hell are you saying, slut? I've been our leader for the past four years. I would I hand the position down to anybody else? It's as Bumblebee said. You were on the verge of shitting your pants just now. A leader doesn't do that. If I wasn't the leader, then who would you be? You? Don't make me laugh. What are you other than a large pair of boobs? Why not, Bumblebee? Huh? I appreciate the offer, Satan, but I disagree. Everyone, from here on out, Satan will be our new le out's new leader. This game is called The Prophecy of Light and Darkness, The Power to Save the World. But, he just joined! Yeah, I don't think he's got what it takes. They're right, Bumblebee. I don't have what it takes to be a leader. After all, I've been a slave my entire life. Satan. We may have failed out mission today, but look at everything you did. When the bomb was about to go off, you warned everyone and told the team, allowing the team to drop to the floor. And when Tough Guy and Mindy were injured, you were the one who carried both of them on your back all the way here to safety. You're more of a freedom fighter than you realize. More than them, you could make this entire world your bitch. 
Oh, Bumblebee, do you really mean that? If so, okay. I will accept the role as leader. Smiles. Smiles. <laughs> now what do you gotta... Now, now what do you all say we get to bed? We're all wanted men now, so we need our rest. Starting tomorrow, we'll have to be more careful with whatever we do. That means we'll be spending most of our lives cooped up indoors. Um, Bumblebee is based on Bartleby, and he gets he got called Bartleby a few times. And Bartleby is a character from the Sonic Underground cartoon. Who, if you remember the old school one, there's a character Antoine. I think Bartleby is supposed to be like like Antoine. That's fine. I don't mind staying indoors if it means I don't get my ass blown off. And that's exactly what we did. For the next few months, in fact. We decided that if we wanted to continue living, we would need to keep ourselves hidden from the outside world. We would very rarely go outside, and when we did, we would put on disguises. The robot boys are still there. Stevens came and passed. Eventually, Robot Man must have gotten tired of waiting for us to come out of hiding. He apparently left the city. But, his robot boys are still lurking around. In fact, they appear to be more frequent than ever. It truly feels like nowhere is safe. The people of the city don't seem to mind the robot boys. Most people even seem to look up to them, like they're protectors. I can't blame them. The way the robot boys chased us away like that. If I were just a normal citizen of this town, I'd probably be looking up to them too. But I'm not a normal citizen. I'm Satan. The Freedom Fighter. Talk about a Mary Sue. Morning, Satan. What the fuck did you just call me? Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, morning, boss. That's right. If I hear you call me by my birth name again, you're out of the team. You get what I'm saying, bitch? I understand, boss. Yeah, I'm definitely down to play some like weird, more weird RPG Maker games. If you send me that list on Twitter, Ibroxis. Good morning, Satan. Did you sleep well? I did. Blushes. Thank you, Bartleby. When you wrapped your arms around my last night, I felt as though I was wrapped in the wings of my guardian angel. I'm glad to hear that, big boy. Good morning, boss. Good morning, tough guy. How are things with you right now? I'm doing all right. Just got done taking a huge dump, and I'm ready. Where's take it? There doesn't seem to be a bathroom in here. Just got done taking a huge dump, and am now ready to have into the government. Oh, I, I'm assuming he means hack into the uh, the government. See if I can find a robot man. Cool. I'm counting on you, tough guy. I should look around town and see if anything strange is going on. Christmas is coming, so maybe I should see about getting Bumblebee a gift. But what would he like? A flower? A blue flower, like me. But where would I find the blue flower? I'll ask around town. Excuse me, sir, do you know where I can find a blue flower? A blue flower? Hmm, I believe I saw one this morning at the park on the right side of town. Happy holidays to you, my little blue friend. Gotta avoid the robot boys. Oh, they're like... I don't see a blue flower. Did this guy take it? Would you have happened to see a blue flower around here anywhere? I need one to give my boyfriend for Christmas. I have, actually. I saw a man with red hair pick one and head down to the construction site. If you hurry there, I'm sure you could... These people are awfully observant of all the goings-on of the blue flowers. There's a the construction site. Hi. I was wondering if I had a blue flower. I I mean, I know I don't. I knew where I could get one. Oh, you're just a few minutes too late. I actually just sold a blue flower. Really? To who? Do you know which way he went? I believe he was headed down towards the casino. Said something about going gambling before he leaves town. If you run, you might just catch him. Let's get that fucking blue flower, guys. Hey, you. You got a blue flower? 
What? Is this, is this guy like running around with a blue flower that people are just seeing him? Unfortunately, he's already left town. Sorry to say, kid, but you're out of luck. I don't think there are any more blue flowers in town. Oh no, Christmas is ruined, guys. What is your heart? What? What? what kind of advice is that? Oh, maybe you should. <laughs> it's cold out there. You should bundle up, buddy. If you're still cold, talk to a robot boy. I hear they're giving out free heating pads and shit. I wish I could go in the casino, but because this is the place where Robot Man chased off the Freedom Fighters, it's pretty much become a, a, a national monument. What? Remember the casino. Kids, imagine reading about that in a history book. It's so expensive to get in. Wait, it's a national monument, so it's more expensive to get in now? Oh, wait, what? Why would the... Well, that was easy. Actually, everything in this forest appears to be doing just fine. Is this also caused by the magical healing waters of the stream? These waters are so mysterious. I wonder where it gets its powers from. Holy fuck, brother. It can't be. I mean, they live right there, so it very well could be. Sniff, Satan, it really is you, isn't it? My eyes aren't deceiving me, are they? No, my dear sister, it's really me. Oh, joyous days. You've finally come home. The man and I have been waiting so long for this day. Stephanie, what are you going... What are you doing so far away from home? I thought Uncle Chip never allowed us to roam so far from home. Yeah, I'm assuming this one's supposed to be uh, Amy. That's correct. And he still doesn't. I'm supposed to be back at the farm. But I came over here in the forest to take a shit. Who would have ever guessed that I would find you of all places? My, it's a mir <laughs> it's a miracle. It truly is. I'm glad to see you're doing well. I can't come home. What are you saying? Of course you're coming home with me. If this is about Uncle Chip, don't worry. He too has missed you all this time. Every night, the man and I hear him talking to himself about how he regrets what he had done to you. It's more than Uncle Chip. Stephanie, this has to do with the entire world. Take care, Frog Fez. I know that sounds crazy, but it's the truth. You're right. It is crazy. Nothing. Nothing should come before. Be your family. Now. Steph, now. Get your big smelly ass home. Right now. Please. You fat bitch. Stephanie, I... What? You're what? Speak up, bitch. Sniff, speak up. Is this because you're gay? I already know that your relationship with Bumblebee. We all do. Sniff. You don't have to worry about such trivial things. I'm a freedom fighter, sis. What? I'm a freedom fighter. Actually, more than that, I am the leader of the freedom fighters. No, it can't be. You, you fat blue bitch, you've got to be lying. I'm afraid not, sis. You may not believe it, but I've killed more people in my life. Then you could. What? No, you haven't won a single fight! You get killed by half a car! And if you don't get out of my sight, you'll become a part of that list too. No, no. Oh, he's doing it for her own safety. Sis, forgive me, but I have a new life now. A new life that you nor the rest of the family can be a part of. But even so, I promise you, once I kill Robot Man. I will come back for you, the man and mother. I will free you from Uncle Chip's clutches. That will be my goal. Let's save that. Save our progress. I really hope Bumblebee likes the flower I picked for him. What happens if I go here? 
I shouldn't go after Sonia. She's not a part of my life anymore. None of them are. I think that might have been her name on Sonic. Let me look that up before we go further, because now I'm curious. But uh, I think Sonic Underground. Yeah, Sonia the Hedgehog is from Sonic Underground. Because once again, if you remember Sonic, like all this guy's cartoons are about Sonic the Under Sonic Underground. And uh, I don't know why everything is like sepia now. No! Don't touch the robot boy. Yeah, the game alternates between calling them their Sonic Underground names and their in-game. What's happened? Holy shit, what happened? What? The end burned to the ground. Well, would you look at that. One freedom fighter still remains. Robot Man. I'll kill you. Ha! You and what army, fat boy? The man who can stand before me, Bumblebee, has just been blown to bits. Bumblebee, I I refuse to believe he's dead. Believe what you want, but it won't save you. Your ass is mine. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Robot Man? Why? You freedom fighters are the ones who are out to kill me. I am simply defending myself. <laughs> Why are you doing this, old man? I gave you a chance, and now you paid- th Oh, it's like, alluding back to the, uh, the beginning of the story now. And we can see that Robot Man is just like Uncle Chip. All you care about is yourself. You are unable to look at those who are behind you. You are what is wrong in this world. What are you saying? I'm saying you're weak. It's easy for you to treat everyone as slaves because you don't know what it's like, but me, I know what it's like. And because I know what it's like, I have the resolve to keep on fighting. I might as well spank your cute little ass right now and have you call me daddy. That's my boy. I knew it was wise assigning you as the leader of the Freedom Fighters. Bumblebee! No, no. I can't be. Bumblebee, how are you still alive? You underestimate me, Robot Man. I am Bumblebee, the richest man on Earth. When I saw your... He's always famous, he's the richest man on Earth. Wait, but how is it, how did he come to be the richest man on Earth when Robot Man is, like, the dictator that runs everything and doesn't like Bumblebee? When I saw your robot boys placing bombs around the hotel, I simply called one of my private helicopters to come and fly me and the rest of the team to safety. So Tough Guy and Mindy are both still alive. That's right, in fact, they're on their way- Alright, 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 let's go. Yeah, let's bring the house down, bitches. This is the prophecy of light and darkness. Let's get down to business. We ain't got time to play. We find the evil every day. Me and the crew, what about you? What do you do? What do you do? What 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 do you do? You guys are here. Drop the beat, bitch. Drop, drop, drop the beat, bitch. <laughs> you guys are hearing this, right? Those lyrics. The prophecy of light and darkness. <laughs> the power to save the world is in your hands. Drop just... the beat, bitch. Drop, drop, drop the beat, bitch. <laughs> it's gonna let Sometime this rock around a bit. To get to the light, you need to walk through the darkness. Oh, I think that was the whole song. We're coming. Right. Oh, it's gonna loop. Oh. Right. We're coming on hot. I repeat, yeah. we're coming in hot. <sighs> What's that coming in over the horizon? It's, it's a helicopter. <laughs> that Satan will be our ride out of here. Where are my bitches at? I don't believe it. Nice timing, tough guy. Hop in, bitches. Time to make like a hockey stick and get the puck out of here! Don't have to tell me twice. Okay, everyone's on. Let's get out of here. Okay, it's team. I'm pulling up. No, get back here. Freedom fighters! Well, I saved your ass, at least. 
I'm sure a bumblebee would have been just fine all whether right. I should have or not. All, all, all right, let's go. Yeah, let's bring the house down, bitches. This is the prophecy of light and darkness. Let's get down Hey, to where are we headed anyways? Play. We find evil every day. There's we a town nearby where we'll be landing. This will be our do? new base of operations. Apparently, it's a pretty rural what do town. You do? Not much technology, what, what, but what do you do? I think that's a good thing. Drop hardly beat, any bitch. technology means drop, hardly. Drop the beat, bitch. Excuse me, hardly any robot boys. Yeah, and it's a bit off the charts too. So it will take a long time for Robot Man to find us out there. The perfect hiding spot. I see, but will we ever be coming back to town? Satan, that place is dangerous now. I know you feel connected to it, but we can't go back. Not anymore. I'm afraid that was the last look you'll ever see of it. Just when I thought I finally found the home, it was taken from me in a blink of an eye. Satan, my love, will you be fine? Yeah, I'm used to having things taken from me. I've been a slave my entire life. It's like, that's the drinking game. Every time he says I've been a slave my entire life, we uh, take a drink. But even so, I'm content. I'm alive, and I've got the best boyfriend in the entire world. He's the richest man ever, got a big ass, and a sexy face. I just looking at him puts a smile on my face. Satan, I love you. I love you too, Bumblebee. And the way I see it, wherever you are, that's my home. Same. Damn you two, keep it in your pants until we land at least. That Blushes. Ha 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 ha. The stars are beautiful out tonight. Where, where are we? Is it the kitchen? I'm hungry. I wonder if there are any chili dogs. Oh, we never got the fucking chili dogs we bought. Thousands of dollars of hot dogs just wasted. Turlet. Damn, I got it. Oh, we can just keep on shitting all day. That's a big dumb, too. Listen to that. I think I'll take a bed. Not yet. Just gotta talk to them. See what they are. How are you doing, Mindy? How I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Though I gotta admit, being a co-pilot in a helicopter is pretty exhausting. I haven't had sex with anybody in like two days. I don't think I've been this long with someone banging me in the ass. I could imagine. Hey, speaking of which, you're still dating my bro, the man, right? Of course, I still get it on with just about everyone, but your brother is the one to have stolen my heart. How long has it been since you've seen him? I haven't seen him since I left home, almost a year ago. Actually, I went on a date with him just last week. Oh, good, so he's doing alright. Hey, you haven't told him I joined the Freedom Fighters, have you? Of course not, Satan. He doesn't even know that I'm a Freedom Fighter. That part of our lives must be kept hidden from the world. I see. That's great to hear, because as far as I'm concerned, I'm better dead to my family. Are we almost there? It'll take some time before we get up. We get there. You should take this time to rest up. Why not grab a bite to eat, have a nap, or take a dump? How are you doing, babe? You're not good, Bumblebee. I'm afraid I might have air sickness. Ah, does my baby boy need a tummy rub? Happy 12th birthday, son. What are these people? Happy birthday, big brother. Happy birthday, dear. What are you going to wish for, big brother? I want a race car. No, a, a plane. Ha! I'm afraid we can't afford either of those things, son. Aw, oh, man. Well, I don't need a gift. Just being surrounded by my family is good enough for me. Well, surely you want something. A helicopter? Son, I'm starting to lose my patience. I was trying to stay chill until now, but you're starting to get on my damn nerves. Just hurry up and make a reasonable decision before I come over there and beat your fucking ass. <laughs> no, Dad, I mean, there's a helicopter right in front of our front lawn. Look. What the hell? Daddy, who are all these people? I don't know, dear. They must be some important people to me. <laughs> they must be some important people to make such a grand entrance. Oh no, dear. 
You don't think these people are with that dictator robot man, do you? I don't want to die. I sure as hell hope not. You stay back, honey. I'll handle this. You. Who are you? Are you with Robot Man? We of our small village already told you we don't want your leadership here. Go home. Actually, we're fighting against Robot Man. We're the Freedom Fighters. Truly? You are the legendary Freedom Fighters? That is correct. I am Bumblebee. I am Mindy. I am Satan. Bumblebee's l <laughs> You don't need to announce that when you meet new people whose house you landed on. Tough guy. So, you've come to protect us then. Robot Man's evil doings will no reign as long as we are here. Oh, joyous days. That's a pretty nice house you've got there. Looks expensive. It is built on many generations. We are probably the richest in the land. Of course, that's still nothing compared to the legendary Bumblebee. Satan, can I trust you with the honor of slaughtering this family? What? Oh my god. Tough guy, where are you? Well, our old home was burned to a crisp by Robot Man. Naturally, we need a new place to stay. And this place doesn't look half bad. I agree. Kids, get inside. <laughs> get inside. Wait, am I really gonna kill... Better pick a, a god and pray, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! I just... Let's go freedom fighters. Shall I go inside and dispose of the children too? Might as well. Oh, back into that the funky music. I should keep... I should keep... Oh, they're hiding. Oh, oh no! Was that like a sec That- That was like some kind of security system I should have known, I should have saved. Oh no! Alright, so I'm- We're gonna have to, uh, go through all that dialogue again. God fucking damn it. I should have known that those green lines were like laser lights. Yeah, we're the good guys, Moirin. The freedom of, it's the freedom fighters need a base. If you'd like an easier way for the freedom fighters, oh, at least we get to listen to this song again while we go through the style. Oh no, I skipped too fast. We get to hear the whole song. Alright, now I'll save before I just go tripping off the security system while trying to slaughter the children and steal their home. Alright, so... Let's kill their parents again. Yeah, it's a, it's a very dense game. There's a lot of things that happen. Join the Freedom Fighters. Get almost killed by our uncle. Alright, funky music time. It's all right. So basically, basically, it's a Sonic the Hedgehog fan-made game, but the characters are only occasionally called by their Sonic names. Oh, where are you hiding, kids? Too close to the wall for anybody to hide behind. Just a bunch of bags of wheat. And if you're just joining, uh, we're we're trying to find ch children. To slaughter inside this house so we can steal their home and make it our headquarters. Don't see anything under the tables. They're not hiding in the oven. Aha! Found you. Get your ass out here. Please don't kill me. I don't want to die. Please, you don't have to do this. You could just let me go. It's a bit too late for that, bitch. What's done is done. Once a job starts, it must be finished. That is the way of the freedom fighters. But don't worry, your death will not be meaningless. You'll be giving me and my crew a pretty sweet house. Fine. And keep in mind, this character is basically supposed to be Sonic the Hedgehog. For fine, sniff. If you're going to kill me, do it quick. Not so fast. First, I need you to do something for me. And if you do a good job, I might just let you live. I'll do anything, sir. Cool. Follow me. 
Now, I'm assuming you know some stuff about the security of your home, correct? I believe so. I don't know much, but my mom and dad did- Oh yeah, it's the kid's birthday too, for you guys who don't know. I don't know much, but my mom and dad did tell me some important things. Cool. Now listen closely. These lasers... I need you to disable them for me. The lasers? You blind or something? They're just plain stupid. I want them disabled. With this being the Freedom Fighters' new base, how are we supposed to move around and do shit with them all over the place? Disabling them isn't hard for you to do, now is it, little girl? Well, they're very unique, high-class lasers. They only shut off when they take a human life. Well, damn. Looks like we've got a human life right here. What? Ah. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's how, that's how security... How, how security works. Too close to the wall, right? Too close to the wall for anybody to hide behind. Probably upstairs. Just a lot of books. Just a lot of books. Oh, I can like walk inside all this. I feel like I'm gonna save again, because there's something else that might kill me. Could pop up. There's a jail cell up here. Damn, I gotta take- Hell yeah, we're just taking shits all over. Oh, the kid's not even hiding behind anything. Please, Sniff, don't kill me. The rest of your family is already dead, boy. What do you have left to live for? Exactly. Today is my birthday. Cool, I don't give a shit. March 2nd. I can't believe that this is how it turned out. Yeah, sucks for you, don't it? <laughs> March 2nd. I can't believe it's already the triplet's 16th birthday. Time sure does fly, huh, Ellen? I think I'm beginning to feel old. I, gu I guess that's their birthday, too! The kid we just killed had uh, the same birthday as Sonic the Hedgehog and his siblings. You don't look old, Uncle Chip. Ha! <laughs> Maybe to you, but that's because you do three see me every day. Wow, Stephanie, way to be rude to the old man. It's cool, today's your day. You three can say whatever the hell you want. Wow. Look at all these presents you three got. Who's this bald person that's just here? Yeah. I want you all to open them now. Oracle of Delphi. Don't entice... Th okay, that's the Oracle of Delphi. Don't entice them. Those presents are for after dinner. Aw. Haha, <laughs> calm your tits there, the man. They aren't going anywhere. What's up, Satan? You seem down. Oh, it's just my boyfriend Bumblebee still isn't here. Even though he said he'd hear me celebrate my sweet 16. Isn't he, like, the richest man on Earth? I bet he's at a really important meeting. Or something. I wouldn't think so hard on it, bro. Yeah, I bet he wants to be here with all his heart. But you know how busy he can be. Yeah. Alright, who wants the first slice of cake? Oh, I do. No, no, me. Give me some of that shit. Hell yeah, Oracle of Delphi. I'm assuming that was a memory. Oh, is, it, is that the king is coming to meet us? Pretty cool, Satan. You are a true fighter. You think so? Totally. What you done was so bitchin'. <laughs> Even I had trouble killing without remorse at first. But you, you're a natural. Thank you for being the leader of the Freedom Fighters. No prob. You can all do inside now, and make yourselves at home. What about you? Aren't you coming inside? Not yet. I'm going to take a look around town first and get to know the place. Suit yourself.
Did you hear? They say that Robot Man killed the Freedom Fighters. I hope it isn't true. The people of the city hate the Freedom Fighters with a passion. Say they're just a bunch of criminals. The people of our village, we look up to them. As you should. Oh, that, that everyone has a cr everyone's has a crown in this town. Why, well, yes, I am. You know my name. World gets around this town pretty quick. A lot of people are talking about the big, the big, the blue boy with the big ass. <laughs> a lot of people are talking about the blue boy with the big ass. Are you the man with the big ass that came <laughs> on the helicopter this morning? It's nice to meet you. Yes, that's me. I'm Satan. It's nice to meet you, too. Me and my friends will be living here starting today. Well, we hope you enjoy your new life here, you fat blue man. The family at the top of the village are celebrating their son's 10th birthday today. I hope they're having son... Trust me, I'm sure they're having a lot <laughs> Wow, I hope they're I'm sure they're having a lot of fun. Do you like... My carrot patch? It's beautiful. It's, yeah, it seems like he's wearing some kind of a thong wearing. Alright, let's go into this building. Alright, let's not. I heard you just moved into town. It's nice to meet you. I'm the head of this church. Pretty cool. I'm Satan. Do you believe in God? If God truly exists, then evil such as my uncle and robot man would not. Who's in the tent? Oh, it's the Oracle! You, I've seen you before, haven't I? I do not believe so. I would certainly remember meeting a sexy blue man before. How strange. Please, sir, would you mind me telling me your name? I am known as the Oracle of Delphi. I see. Might I ask why you live on the outskirts of town in a tent? Well, you see, I am a prophet, and people are afraid of my powers, so they refuse to give me a home to live in. That's... that's horrible. Someone of such great power needs to be respected. Thank you, Satan. Your words mean a lot to me. I... I don't remember telling you my name. I... <laughs> <laughs> I use that bucket to watch my <laughs> Oh, I fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. What are all these weapons for? They are known as the legendary weapons of the prophecy. Legend has it that someday four heroes will come to this village, claim the four weapons as their own, and use them to kill the evil dictator who rules this world. The dual swords are said to be wielded by a man who skin the color of the ocean. Whatever that could be. The whip. Wielded by a woman with the sexy body, body, and hair the color of flames. The single sword, and the most powerful of them all, wielded by a beautiful man with flowing blonde hair. And throwing knives to be wielded by a total badass. I hope I can live long enough to see the Chosen Four come and obtain those weapons. Good luck with that. Holy shit. That's too good. I use that bucket to wash my ass. We were in further in the outskirts. Hey there. I heard you're new in town. Oh god, my eyes are still tearing from that fucking, uh... The ass bucket. Oh, fuck. Heard you're new in town. That's right, me and my friends. Glad to have you around, fat boy. Do you see this river? Oh, this has some magical healer buildings too? Could this be the very same river that runs through the forest back home? Excuse me, sir, would you happen to know what makes this river so powerful? Well, 
there's these are only but rumors, but legend has it that a beautiful blonde man took a dump in this river. <laughs> Ever since then, the river itself has been blessed with such abilities. But that only begs the question, who was that man? And why did he... <laughs> and why did he shit bless these waters? <laughs> Truly a mystery it is. I should get back home. God. Huh. What is that? Oh shit, he's here. We expected you to spend a bit more time looking around while we got ready. Ready for what? And what's with that birthday cake? Oh, isn't it obvious, my love? Happy birthday. They're totally just like reusing the dead kid's birthday party, aren't they? <laughs> Bubblebee. You didn't seriously think we forgot, did you? I... I can't thank you all enough to be wasting so much time on me when we should be focusing on Robot Man. Where did you all find the cake? It's nothing, man. Here, Satan. They definitely found the cake from the dead kid's birthday. This is a yellow flower. It's beautiful. Yellow, just like your hair. I'm glad that you like it. I, I will treasure it always. Puts it in Mohawk. Do I look cute? Cute as always. Oh, this reminds me. I got you a Christmas gift a little while back, but never got to give it to you. That's right. We were on that helicopter for about four months! So we didn't get to celebrate Christmas. Here, Bumblebee. A blue flower. Just like you. How adorable. I'm glad to have you with me, Bartleby. I hope I can spend the rest of my coming birthdays with you. You most certainly will, babe. I'm starving. Can we cut into the cake now? Me too. Cute into that bitch. Later, Skizzy Willy. Yeah, they were listening to the Yeah Bitch song for four months. <sighs> oh, you dad. Uh, Nadim Sur, if you're just joining us, you've missed an awful lot of important plot points. It's the fam the child whose birthday it was that we massacred and now we're stealing his birthday. Or all the fat ass references. I think I'll go for a little walk instead. Suit yourself, slut. Oh, I'm playing as her now. She's, I feel like she's gonna get into trouble. Let me save. Wait, even though... Damn, I'm playing as her, but like, it still has the old... Uh, it has his picture. Let me... I feel like this guy's gonna have something for him. Alas, I have been waiting for you, Mindy. Who are you? How do you know my name? Oh, are you one of those guys that I met with over the weekend? Sorry, I'm not too good at remembering faces. <laughs> Silence, or Your words and beautiful face did not seduce me. What is this? I have seen into the future. Your future, and in it you do many horrible things. Including betraying those closest to you. I, I would never. And because of such... All of mankind shall fold to the evil robot man. I cannot allow that to happen. So I have decided to silence you here and now, you venomous slut. You, you don't have to do this. Forgive me, but I must. Go ahead and run if you wish. I love the thrill of the chase. I. No! No! Stop it, please. Be gone from this world. Is this like Pokeball's cannon or some shit? Holy shit. I already told you why this must be done. Damn. Top 10 saddest RPG deaths. This is a, like, Aeris who? For, fuck Aeris, that was... That right there. 
And now we're going to look at all the great memories we have with Mindy. Like this time, or that time. Well, that time, when she was flying the helicopter. <laughs> Wait, remember? The legendary prophecy of light and darkness. The power to save the world. Created by... Tamers... Wait, is this game- is it the end of the game? Special thanks to those who donated on this game's donation page. This game could not have been finished without you. All donations received will go straight towards Tamers135 in an effort to release more improved content for his fans. Land, Max, Freshor, Stig, The Restroom Terrorist, Anon172, Davro, Thomas, Nicolo. For even more fun, visit Tamers12345's website at youtube.com slash users. What do you provide? The Legendary Prophecy of Light... Oh, this, wait, this is the... Well, alright then. Oh, oh. Greetings, player. Yes, it is I, the Oracle. You must be wondering why I brought you in here, and why I have transported you into the game. First off, I would like to congratulate you on completing the game. Thank you. The legendary prophecy of light and dark... Light and darkness, the power to save the world. Normally, your game would have ended right then and there. However, it appears you have donated to this game's official Patreon page. Because you did this, you have been given a very special version of this game. Something very few people will get. In other words, you get the good shit. I will send you back in time where you'll have the option to go closer to your comrades and unlock special events. If you get lucky enough, you may even be able to get into someone's pants, big boy! The Oracle lovingly caresses your face. I'd rather glow, grow... Wait, I'm bald? I'm like a bald white guy now? I'd rather grow closer to you. Damn, you got a fine ass, you know that, Oracle? You're not the first to tell me that. Now, I will open up a portal to send you back through time, player. I have written you into this alternate timeline where you are the fifth member of the Freedom Fighters. Satan and Bumblebee are away on their own date at the point in time I am sending you, which means that the only characters you will be able to date is Mindy, or if you are gay, tough guy. Not like you would have a shot with either Satan or Bumblebee. Their love for each other is so unbreakable you wouldn't be able to date them even if they were there. So, off you go. Mystical chanting. So we're back at the headquarters. Oh yeah, now I'm... Bold guy. Although it still says I'm Satan. Alright then. I saw player, I saw you've been eyeing Mindy's ass. Haha. <laughs> hey player, I was wondering where you went off to. I know you know I get so lonely when you're away for too long. Player. Sorry babe, I was doing business. You have a really big butt. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say to her. Just big enough to spank. You spank Mindy's big butt. <laughs> Seems like you chose the right choice of words. So, that's like this game's version of uh, if you've played the Telltale Walking Dead games, when it says someone will remember that. Mindy will remember that. So, I was wondering what I should do for the day. It's a shame you and I aren't alone, so we can't tee hee hee. We should go somewhere more private. I mean, I guess, you know, sometimes you're no fun player. Seems like you chose the wrong- oh no, I chose the wrong choice of words. Yeah, you're welcome, Warren. This is the most incredible game. Now that you're alone, how about we get to know each other a little bit more, sweet pea? Okay. How should we get to know each other? Oh, I know, how about a little game? We'll ask each other questions and learn things about each other. First question. If somebody was pointing a gun at you with the intent to kill, what would be the first thing out of you big plump lips? Player. 
Try me, bitch. You can't kill me. Or, damn, I wish my girl was here. Try me, bitch. Let's be You're even manlier than I thought, player. Minzy licks her lips seductively. Seems like you chose the right answer. <laughs> oh, do me now. Ask me anything you want. Player. Spanks Mindy's ass? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? What kind of salad do you like? Which, I guess it's- I'm assuming the right answer is to spank her ass. Slow down, player. You don't want- What? I'm dating the man that- I mean, you know I love having fun, but only when I'm ready. Ever heard of consent? Seem- Oh, okay. Seems like I chose the wrong question. Man, I'm getting hungry. Do you think you could go over to the kitchen to get me some gluten-free crackers? Alright, we're going on a quest. Fetch quest to get some gluten-free crackers. Oh, this is the kitchen here. I think. So. Alright. Wait, so is, is this... That's a... Why? Why are the gluten-free crackers in a bookshelf? I guess because it's like eating paper? You gave the gluten-free crackers to Mindy. You watched as she put them in her mouth. The whole box? The entire time you tried very hard not to stare at her breasts. Damn, these are good. You want some. Give me some of that, bitch. You and Mindy both reached into the box of crackers at the same time and exit. <laughs> I mean, there's only so much room in a box of crackers. It's, let's not brush that up to accident. Teehee. Mindy pulled her hand away, allowing you to grab a handful of crackers. You wink at your girl, Mindy, as you shove the crackers in your mouth. <laughs> you want me to... To jump up and down and shake my boobs while you eat. You bet, daddy needs a show. Mindy began jumping up and down as you ate away at your crackers. Damn, what a show. Woo, I'm getting all sweaty. Even better. Now that we're done eating, want to play another game. Depends on what kind of game, babe. What's wrong, babe? Tell me, player, and be honest. Am I nothing more than a nice pair of tits to you? Of course, your personality is sexy, too. I'm gonna say, yeah. I figured as much. I don't blame you, though. I do have some big bazoombas. <laughs> I just wish there are more men in this world like my boyfriend, the man. Satan's brother. He's the only one who loves me for who I am. So you could never love me as much as you love him. I'm so- Oh damn, it's because I picked the wrong answers. He's just so damn fine, and he's sweet as fuck. Nothing can compare. But that- th This is like the bonus content, too. Like, this is like for the- The pre- This is the premium shit we're experiencing. But that doesn't mean I can't have some fun with you, winky face. Good enough for me. You li- <laughs> You lift your arms above your head and dab, causing Mindy to blush. You're sweet. On second thought, on second though, maybe I could leave the man. Oh, cause he dabbed. That's that's how it works. You dab, you get the girl. Hey, as I said earlier, I got all sweet sweaty from jumping up and down for you, Daddy. Want to hop in the hot tub together? Okay. This, was, this isn't just a game, this is solid dating advice. Gluten-free crackers and dabbing. Walking into the hot tub with a full suit of armor on. My favorite person in the, in the whole wide world is Tamers12345. He's amazing, truly a man among men. For, for those of you just joining us, Tamers12345 is the person who made this game. Do you think he will fulfill his goal to bring that TV show that was cancelled all, all those years ago? Meaning Sonic Underground. I know he will. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, can I call him closer to you? Yes. You feel Mindy grab your hand. Let's have some fun tonight, just you and me. Oh, would you look at the time? I have a mission to start in about an hour. I guess I'll see you tonight, big boy.
Sup, player. What's that? Well, I'm not gay, but I guess we could hang out if you really want to. I was just about to make myself a pretzel and play computer games. You can sit on the couch and watch me play if you want. <laughs> you sat there quietly and watched Tough Guy play computer games. Every now and again, he took a bite of his pretzel. <laughs> You want a bite of my pretzel? I don't have any cheese, so it's just plain. Damn, I go for like a good ass like pretzel with cheese and stuff. No, I I only eat cheese pretzels. Whatevs. I heard you brought the special edition of the game by donating to Patreon. Congrats on being one rich bitch, I guess. Thanks, I am. Knuckles went. Oh, now that, that's that's the official confirmation that this person is actually supposed to be Knuckles. About a half an hour later, you heard a voice over the voicemail on Knuckles' desk. Tough guy, tough guy, are you there? It's me, Robot Man. I've been trying to contact. Oh, Knuckles is the fucking double agent. Knuckles shouted before saying the voicemail across the room. Ha <laughs> ha. Was, uh, was that robot man who just called? I wonder if he just got the wrong number. What the hell was that? Robot man was calling. And uh, not only that, he was trying to contact Tough Guy. Could Tough Guy be? No, no way. He's our ally, isn't he? Tough Guy. I need to ask you something. Like, are you secretly working for Robot Man? You fucking bitch, do you need me to kick your fucking ass? You seriously thinking I'm a traitor? I don't. I trust my comrades, but that was certainly suspicious. If, in find out you are a traitor to the Freedom Fighters, I will shove my fist so far up your smelly ass that you won't be able to sit for months. Try me, bitch. Oh! What is... Alright, whatever's happening here, I'm gonna save, because this looks like a dangerous situation. And I'm walking slower than usual. Was everything I knew a lie? Was Tough Guy a traitor all along? Retro Gaming Dev, this is the prophecy of light and darkness, the power to save the world. Which is a thinly veiled Sonic the Underground fan game. He said he has the vision of turning on everyone. None of this adds up. I haven't. I, I feel like I'm... I haven't made more than one save. I'm not... I think I think this is gonna be a one playthrough game. I don't need to see all the possibilities. Just, uh, just one of the possibilities is enough for me. The game ended, but... What about Uncle Chip? Will Satan ever free his siblings? The game didn't address that. And why was Uncle... Oh, so this is... The bold dude is supposed to be me, the player. Like, it's getting a little meta now. Like, we- basically what's happened is we've beaten the game, and the ending of the game was that the character Mindy got killed by the, by the Oracle, and the game ended there. But now this is like the premium content, and they went back in time, and the bold guy is me, the player, experiencing the game but also being in the game now. The game- didn't address that, and why was Uncle Chip so abusive to his niece and nephews in the first place? There must be a reason, and I must know it. Bumblebee's magical powers. The magical hearing powers that the river holds. Neither of those things were explained. They, they were explained! The explanation was that- oh, okay. That one villager said that a beautiful blind man pooped in the river one day, and ever since then the river was blessed. Was that man Bumblebee? But that still doesn't explain where Bumblebee got his powers. But the game is over, how will I know? This is getting... When people try to tell you video games are an art, you gotta show them this. Perhaps a sequel to this game- oh no, it will tell me everything. There, I know for a fact that there is a sequel in the works to this game. Oracle, what's going on? Why did you transport me here? Because, player, 
It seems you have discovered something very important about Tough Guy. That he is, in fact, the traitor, and is working with Robot Man. But that's... impossible. I played the game. I was there. All throughout the game, he fought alongside Satan, Bumblebee, and Mindy, and... and me. You were fooled, unfortunately. And so was I. As you know, I... I killed Mindy. I killed her because I had a vision of the future. Four great heroes would fight against Robot... Ugh, Robot Man. With one of them being a traitor. Naturally, I came to the conclusion that the four heroes were Satan, Bumblebee, Mindy, and Tough Guy. I figured it was Mindy because you can't trust a slut. Who would have ever thought that the true traitor was Tough Guy? But you're the Oracle now. You're the Oracle. You should have known. And... I'm the player, I'm the human now and not Sonic because the Oracle made it so. If my powers would allow me, I would send you back in time to warn everyone that Tough Guy is a traitor. But due to the laws of time travel, you cannot change what is in the past. Or it will change everything in the future as we know it. However, I will tell you this. If the legendary prophecy of light and darkness, the power to save the world, ever gets a sequel, I do hope that you will play it. Please, see this story through to its end, because it's far from over. Yo, that is so fucking slick. The fucking, the ending of the game is an advertisement for the sequel. The true end. Is it? I think this is like the actual end of the game now. Yeah. This is, uh, the ending of the game, it appears. Alright, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I guess this is where the stream ends. If this game gets a sequel, I will definitely, definitely be playing.